Good morning, adventure friends. This is day five of my adventure to Kentucky and West Virginia. <clears throat> Got up this morning, it was pouring down rain, we're getting some of that tropical storm that's moving up the coast. So we're stuck here at the hotel today. We're planning on leaving yesterday and then the storm came up, so we decided to stay another night and then I heard it was gonna rain all day today too. Maybe tomorrow we'll get out of town, head on back to North Carolina. But we really enjoyed our adventure here, Kentucky and in West Virginia. Yesterday, we visited a ghost town and we met some real ghosts. <laughs> so that video will be coming up soon. Today, I'm just gonna hang around the hotel, do some laundry. I ran out of laundry, of course. <clears throat> I brought enough for about four or five days, but I need to go ahead and do some laundry. I got that on right now. Had breakfast at the hotel, so that's taken care of. And my friend Greg Treadway's coming over. We're going to go out for lunch. And then tonight, he has a gig at the American Legion here in Beckley, West Virginia. I'll be going to that. <clears throat> I can't video it because the music is copyrighted. Oh, I hate that, but I have to play by the rules, so we'll be videoing some more today and tomorrow on a trip back to North Carolina, and <clears throat> hopefully the sun will be shining. Everyone have a wonderful day. We're going to go ahead and sh show you what we can today. Of course, it's raining out, so we can't show you as much as we wanted to. You guys are, are new to the channel. We appreciate you watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing. And all the returning viewers, we're glad to have you here with us. Well, as you can guess, we're in the laundry room right now at the hotel. And of course, we'll have a washer and dryer. And they love to eat quarters. It looks like my washer is finished. Gonna take them out, put them in the dryer, we'll be back. My laundry is finished, all nice and clean and dry. I'm gonna put it in my travel bag, take it up to the room, take a nap, then we'll be going to over to the lobby to wait on Greg at about 12.30. We're going to have lunch with him today. My West Virginia friend, Greg Treadway, just pulled up. Let's go out and meet him and go to lunch. There he is, I was looking for him out front of the hotel. Well, Greg, are you ready for lunch and another day of adventure? Oh, absolutely. Well, it seems like every time we get together, we have an adventure. So I guess we might as well have one today, too. And today we're going to have lunch. And uh, if Greg would be kind enough, maybe he can show me around Beckley a little bit. Since the weather is not as bad as we expected, looks like the rain has stopped for right now. And it's not really too cold, so it's a pretty decent day. So uh, maybe I can get my friend to show me around Beckley, show me uh, some of the things here that makes Beckley a great town to live in. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Greg, it looks like most of the restaurants and hotels are on this street here. Uh, tell me what road we're on. Uh, this is uh, Harper Road. Harper Road? Mm -hmm. and, and we're uh, it's on the West Virginia Turnpike, right? Yeah, it's uh, exit 44 off the Turnpike. Okay, exit 44. So if you're passing through on the West Virginia Turnpike through Beckley, West Virginia, and you're looking for restaurants and hotels and all that kind of stuff, you know, this is where it's at. There's a CVS, that's where I get my prescriptions. When you said CVS was close, you wasn't kidding, were you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> so we're going over to Cheddar's restaurant. Greg's never been there before, have you? Uh, I think I was there one other time. Okay. Well, we're going over to Cheddar's and uh, we're going to see how Greg likes it. So what is that big building over on the left? Okay, that's uh, that's Raleigh General Hospital. It's uh, one of at least two here in town. You have two hospitals? Yeah. Uh, that's one of the hospitals, Raleigh? Raleigh General. 
general. That's Riley General. Okay. And over on the right, uh, over there is uh, like like a medical complex that is uh, also part of Raleigh General. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, then, uh, then there should be plenty of doctors out here in this area. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Most of you know, I love West Virginia. And there's a reason they call it almost heaven. And if you come here and visit West Virginia for a while and see all these beautiful mountains, and beautiful parks, and all the other things they have, and the falls, the leaves are just amazing, you'll know why, why they call it that. They say it is almost heaven. restaurant coming up yeah this is called the uh, poncho and lefties it's a beer and tacos place and uh, that's probably the only place I've seen that has a dining space on the roof it used to be an old gas station oh that, that's interesting so you get a good view and a good meal yeah there's still a few leaves hanging around on these trees but most of them's gone Yeah, that's one sight I dread seeing every year. Um, all the leaves fall. Yes. Yes, I know. I love to look at the leaves. But that just means that the winter is coming on and it'll be here soon. Because I seen on the news last night where next week they was uh, forecasting maybe some winter weather, a little snow flurries. I, um, I know cold temperatures for sure. That's right. And I love snow. As long as I don't have to drive too much in it. <laughs> you or me neither. So actually, we're going through the old part of town? Uh, yeah, this is the downtown area coming up. Oh, good. We're going through downtown Beckley. This is the part of town that most tourists don't see. When you're riding up down the turnpike, passing through West Virginia, most of the time, you don't see the downtown areas of these towns you're going through. And now I'm having to go this way because the because there's so much traffic uh, down on that next light, and and it's holding them up. Right. So I'd like to take this opportunity too to say Happy Veterans Day to thank all the veterans for their service. The reason we can live in a free country in such a great country as America is because of the veterans. There was supposed to be a Veterans Day parade, but uh, they decided that since uh, since it was supposed to rain and everything, they were just going to combine that with the uh, Christmas play uh, on uh, December the third. Right. Well, yeah, that won't be. That's coming up pretty soon, huh? Yeah. Have you ever been to the Christmas parade? Uh, uh, years ago, when I was in the high school band, we marched in it one year. Cool. I love parades, especially with bands, when they have bands in it. Yeah. Now, what is that over there, like a little city park? Uh, yeah, this is called uh, Word Park. Bird Park. Word. Well, okay. It's got a nice water fountain going. Yeah, and uh, uh, we we've actually... Our band's actually played under that gazebo back there. Oh, cool. Riley Playhouse Theater, so they have uh, live plays here, huh? Uh, yeah, there uh, there was one. Uh, they just got through doing one here that I'd like to have been able to, to see, but I, I was just so busy that I didn't get to do it. Uh, it was a uh, uh, somebody's take on the... Uh, nine to five movie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Have you ever been to that theater before? Never. What's this on the left? That the courthouse? Yeah, this is the courthouse here. All right. So Beckley is a medium-sized town, I think. About I think I you know Google that it was about thirty-six thousand population. So it's not a real small town, but it's not a big one either. It's just the perfect size. Mm-hmm. It has everything you're looking for and more. 
and the beautiful mountains. Now Greg was telling me that he doesn't watch much TV and I don't either because of YouTube videos and the YouTube videos are better than television. At least they are to me, right Greg? Yeah. I enjoy them more. There's the uh, main branch of the county library. Oh yeah, that's the library we're going by. Wait a minute. Greg is telling us that he just spotted a ghost on that porch. Yeah, and I'm and I'm getting out of here as fast as I can in case he comes after us. <laughs> yeah, we're getting out of here because we was in a ghost town yesterday, and uh, we're gonna put that video up. I hope I can get it up uh, tonight for you guys. So we had to get out of that town too because the ghosts were just. Wouldn't All leave us. over the place. They were everywhere. They wouldn't leave us alone. Made a noise that sounded like... Yeah. I think that same ghost is in the car with me right now. Well, I know I got to get out of here then. Oh, yes. But Greg tells me we just went by the newspaper office. Do you have a, sh a shopping mall in, Gr in Beckley? Uh... Uh, uh, yes, we do. Uh, we're uh, we're nowhere near it right now, but um, but it's it's actually down closer to where I live. Yes. Is it one of the indoor malls? Yeah. Or? Yes, it is. Okay, that's cool. So they have a mall. I told you this town had everything you're looking for. Galleria Cinema. That's I, uh, I was trying to think of the name of it. Is that in the mall? No. Uh, well, the mall used to have its own theater, but they uh, closed that out because I guess where the, this uh, other one came in and pretty much took over the the area. Yeah, I love to go to movies if I can find a good one. Oh yeah, there was one about Elvis that came out earlier this year that I would like to have seen. I just never uh, made time to do it. I seen the, I seen the Elvis movie. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, rave reviews on it, as I understand it. Oh, yes. I enjoyed it. I, I, I learned some things about Elvis I didn't know. Oh, yeah. From, from watching the movie, of course. Mm -hmm. going by what used to be a Ford dealership and I bought my first vehicle here. Cool. Um, it was a Ford Ranger truck. Did you, did you like it? Oh, I loved it. I still miss it sometimes. I bet. I used to have a Ranger also. Oh, wow. I loved it too. Yeah. Good on gas. Fun that, to drive. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's well, especially, especially easy on gas when it's a stick shift, and mine was. Oh, I had an automatic. But, yeah. But I loved driving it because it was easy to park. Mm, yeah, it was. And you know, they quit making Ranger trucks for a while, but now they're making them again. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they're, uh, back then the Ranger was more of a compact pickup, but these days they're, closer to a full size like the F-150. That's right. I noticed that they're, they are they don't look the same or a lot bigger. Uh, although I read somewhere where Ford uh, did come out with a new compact pickup um, whose name I can't think of right now. Well, good. Because I think that's what they should have, they should have kept the Ranger a compact. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about sandstone waterfalls. And uh, Greg and I are going to get around one day going over there and showing you a video on that. Re really is pretty cool because I think they said they were 60 feet high. And also there's a pool with a little beach at the bottom where you can swim. 
Now that I didn't know. I didn't either. I, I seen it online last night when I was on their, I was on their website. And I always like a waterfall, especially where you can swim in it. Okay, Greg, we're looking at the other hospital in Beckley. Yeah, the what, Be Beckley Appalachian Regional Hospital. I was born here. Oh, cool. So this is a hospital Greg was born in. Becky Appalachian Regional Hospital. Mm -hmm. Down in the country, uh, Clear Fork Heights no longer there. Right. Okay, Greg's telling me that they have a college baseball league that plays in Beckley, and what's the name of it? Uh, the West Virginia Miners. The West Virginia Miners. Uh, they play games. And I think we're gonna we're gonna go by the stadium where they play, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you baseball fans? Um, I I used to watch baseball some on TV. Oh yes, I did too. I grew up watching the the New York Yankees. Hmm. That's a probably my my favorite uh, era in baseball was. Uh, the 1984 season for the Chicago Cubs. Really? Yeah. So you was a Cubs fan? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn on. We're coming up on the baseball stadium where the college league team in Beckley plays. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull off and. Okay, Linda K, what's that? Epling. Then play Epling. Stadium, home of the miners. Let's go take a look. We're at Linda K. Eplin Baseball Stadium, home of the miners of Beckley, West Virginia. This is a really cool stadium. I love baseball. I love minor league baseball. I grew up on it, and I go every chance I get. Here's a look at the baseball field. Have some picnic tables and the stands up there on the left. There's some stands over there near the third baseline. This looks like a really fun, cool place to go to a ball game. You can see the mountains in the background behind the stadium. So you have a very scenic view. Of course, just about everything in West Virginia is scenic. Yeah, the miners have been active here since uh, 2010, and uh, I remember coming to a game uh, that inaugural season, and I remember they won that night. Cool. Then, uh, then I never came back for several years until, like, uh, yeah, last year. Uh huh. Um, I I came to see the last two games of the season, but uh, but they lost those. Oh, yes. Well, I love baseball. Uh, it's good entertainment. And in my book, it's still the all-American sport. That's what they say. Okay, let's go take a look at some more stuff. Okay. Okay, Greg, tell us about the college here. There's a college in Beckley that has uh, sports. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about sports, but I do know they, got, they have a campus uptown. Uh, for, for it was originally called the uh, Beckley College, mm -hmm. uh, and then and then some years ago it, it changed its name to the College of West Virginia. Uh, but more recently, uh, it's become a an extension of uh, West Virginia University, which the main campus of that is up in Morgantown. Well, that, yes, that's cool. Yeah, I, I went through Morgantown. Yeah. Beautiful little town. Yeah. Now Greg was telling me to have two Walmarts in Beckley. Of course. There's, there's, uh, there's one in Beckley and then there's one south of town in uh, MacArthur. Right. I understand. Uh, but what we're doing, we're showing you the parts of Beckley that most tourists don't see. So I'm lucky enough to have a friend like Greg 
who can drive us around and show us these things. Now Greg is telling me that a lot of these businesses out here that he grew up knowing. Oh, cool, we're at Cheddar's now. And right next door to Cheddar's is the Olive Garden. There you go, Olive Garden. Not sure where to go in at. Well, there's there's, two, a, there's two or three places. I don't I know either. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go on and get us a parking place here if we can find one. Yep. And we'll see you inside. After you, Greg. Hey, I was gonna say we see, we're even seeing ghosts in here. Yeah. I see them appetizers right there. Okay, Greg ordered some french fries with cheese and bacon. And I ordered a grilled salmon with broccoli and mashed potatoes. It's on the way to be here in a few minutes, and we'll show you that. All right, Greg and I are finishing up our lunch. I'm having some coffee. <clears throat> I had salmon, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. And uh, Greg's still working on his. I don't think you're going to finish that, Greg. That's what I said early on. <laughs> I mean, that plate was pile full, guys. It was. Anyway, we're... Uh, we're almost done here. We're going to get on out of here and show you some more Beckley. We're getting ready to get on 19. Over there on the left is the Appalachian Bible College. 19 goes back to 6477 West Virginia Turnpike. Coming up on the toll gate for the West Virginia Turnpike. 75 cents for cars, and Greg has easy pass, so we're just going to roll right on through. Getting on the West Virginia Turnpike, headed back to the hotel. There. One of the cool things about the West Virginia Turnpike is the Travel Plaza here at Beckley, which is uh, a truck stop. They have showers, they have food court, little shops in there, souvenir stuff where you can buy things. Really cool. Coming up on the exit for the turnpike now. I mean turnpike, <laughs> for the travel plaza. All right. Right here, that'll carry you into the travel plaza. And that's the first place I ever met Greg over at Travel Plaza. I was riding with Trucker Jeff Bob. And we've been good friends ever since. And that's the Travel Plaza you're looking at now. Really what this is is a rest area on steroids. Lots of truck parking. All right, Greg, thanks for the tour of Beckley, West Virginia. I wanted to show you some, some of Beckley that most tourists won't see. And thanks to Greg, thank you for uh, bringing us here and showing us the Beckley, West Virginia. Even on the rainy day, it's beautiful. It certainly is. Yes, and we're going to back to the hotel, Greg and I, we're going to edit some video. We'll catch you later tonight. We're going to head out to the... Uh, American Legion, where Greg has a gig. 